Hey everyone, so today I'll be explaining some of the issues with this drop-down basin from a motorhome. So in this scenario, we have taken it out because the side had cracked. In order to take it out, there's a screw here, there, over here, on the opposite side, and two down on this particular model. So just make sure you check your motorhome before pulling it apart. Sometimes it's glued here at the side and down near the toilet as well. So now that we've taken it off, you don't need to take it out of your motorhome if you don't want to. This one had a cracked tap fitting over here. Uh, the mount was cracked. So the tap was here and the shower head was on that side, the pull out shower head. So in order for us to fix this, we got a bit of plastic, similar color to this. This is just from an old shower, the back wall of a shower. Just cut the shape out that's needed for the top. Turn this plastic over, scratch it with the with the pick, just like that just so the glue has something to bond to. So just scuff it up, even with sandpaper you could do that. Take your epoxy glue, mix it up. Before you do that, make sure you scratch up this surface as well. So if we're working on this side, and if the plastic is going on the outside over here, you scratch up all this surface here. Or if not too much is broken here, you could cut out a shape here if you don't want it sitting on the top. Just make sure to scuff all this up, scratch it, sandpaper it, clean it, and then mix your epoxy. Put it here and put your new plastic panel on the top. Let that dry. And then the next day, once that's dry, you have to reinforce it from the back to prevent cracking in the future. Because this plastic is quite thin. So you can either use wood or if you have access to steel or aluminium, stainless steel thin gauge you could use that just depends on your tap fittings at the back and how much threads you have on the back of the tap so if you're if you come here to the back your tap or your shower head has threads like that with a big nut on it if you have short amount of threads you would have to use a thin wood piece or steel so you can just put a piece of steel here and do the same method, scratch the surface up and use some sort of adhesive sealant or some sort of glue if you have epoxy, don't use hot glue but some sort of good glue and you cut your piece and glue it so I've done it on this side, I've used a wood piece and I've glued it, I'll flip the whole basin over so you can see So coming this side here, I've used this adhesive sealant, I've put a lot of sealant underneath and I've scratched up the surface underneath and in including the wood piece that I've put. So when you glue your wood piece, make sure you put some silicon sealer here and here. So when I put it in, I pushed it up against the wall and just get as much as you can in there. Make sure the basin still moves freely and this pipe doesn't come in the way of this and once that's dry about 24 hours you can go ahead and use a hole saw and drill the hole required for your tap fitting like I said before if your tap only has a little bit of threads you would have to use some sort of steel and make sure you use good quality wood proper wood don't use MDF or particle board because when it gets wet it might get wet sometimes, it's going to rot. Also, since we're here, you might as well just go ahead and check these fittings. Sometimes these come out or get clogged. Because when you move the basin, this whole pipe moves. Make sure this is secure. This one is not secure, as you can see. It's just hot glued from the factory. So we'll go ahead and re-glue this one. This one is alright. check this as well these come out 
from factory this plastic is very thin so since we're here you might as well check if this one is cracking this one is fine but it's it's it's, it's a good thing to put a reinforcing piece here if you want since we're here so you won't have this sort of issue on this side also another thing to note make sure when you pour water in the sink water doesn't come out of this gap here if that happens that means the drain is not attached to this hose in the sink if you ever see water coming out of here I have made another video about that and that will be in the link below so if you want to check that out you can so I'll flip it over and show you what I mean so if you pour water in here and for some reason you see water coming out the side here or here that means the pipe that black pipe I just showed you is not connected here it's come out from over here so watch the other video for your knowledge once that's dry we'll go ahead and take this hole saw choose the right size for your tap fitting and you can go ahead and drill that be very careful don't force it let this hole saw do the cutting and that's how you service and fix one of these drop down sinks thanks for watching guys um, subscribe and do check out the other videos for useful tips and tricks for motorhomes